Hey everybody, welcome to day eight in our 14 days of prayer and fasting. I hope things are going well. You've got over the, the halfway mark now, you're over the hump, and um, if you've been fasting over this time, I just want to commend you. Way to go. Keep going. Uh, if you are not fasting and you'd like some information about that, go to our website, myjourney.church, under the prayer tab, and then there's we've got a couple of things there for you. We've got a whole way of um, some instructions on how to fast. There's a Daniel fast drinking water. I mean, you've got to know your body enough to know what you can and cannot do. And it's really good to get some advice from your doctor as well. Um, but really the whole point behind fasting is to um, just silence the noise in our lives so that we can hear from the Holy Spirit. We can hear from God himself. I mean, that's why we're here. We're, we're here to, to, to hear his voice, to know what he has for us. And so uh, life can be busy and chaotic and a couple of times a year we love to do this together as a, as a church, corporate church, because it just allows us to quiet the noise, hear the voice of the Lord for ourselves personally, for our, for our church corporately, to know where he's leading us and calling us that we can make a significant impact in our world. So. Um, if you're not already fasting, you can jump in for the second part. Maybe just do the next seven days of fasting. Uh, and if you need the guide to follow along with as well, we've got a guide there to kind of walk you through the different days. We're doing some devotionals. The way you hear the voice of the Lord is to get into the Word of God. And so that's what we're doing and just spending some time in prayer. And um, so the, the um, devotional we're following along this time is the Bible Project. They've put out a devotional called The Good Life. And we're really looking at wisdom, scripture, Proverbs, and Ecclesiastes uh, in the days to come. But it's just important to understand the framework of how uh, the scripture has, has been designed. And the Bible Project really illustrates this creatively and very well for us to understand the scripture. So um, uh, we, uh, I would recommend that you look back on days one, two, and three, and, and different days where there's a video attached to this that kind of explains a little bit more about Proverbs and uh, the Bible Project. And, uh, make sure you take a look at that. So today's day eight, like I said, and uh, we'll look at a portion of scripture I've pulled out. You know, as, as we do some Bible reading, we, we're following the SOAP method where you get a scripture, you observe what the scripture says, you write that down, then you take some application. How do I apply this to my life? That's the A out of S-O-A-P, and then we pray together. And so we've got some themes for the day, but, but what I've uh, pulled out of this Proverbs 22, 23, and 24 chapters, I looked at Proverbs 21, 2, Sorry, Proverbs 22, verse 1. It says this, A good name is more desirable than great riches. To be esteemed is better than silver or gold. Now, when I look at this, I kind of observe this scripture, and I look at this portion, like, what does this actually mean? Well, let's take a look at uh, um, what it means, this scripture. A good name is to be chosen rather than uh, great riches, right? So wealth comes in many forms. Uh, the wealth of respect and recognized excellence in character. A good name is valuable beyond wealth. Well, what's a good name? It's good name, your reputation comes from good conscience, is, is far more desirable than great riches. So it's true that reputation is really important and the affection of others is is more desirable than great riches, we must not forget that they present some challenges for us as well, right? If we don't recognize, if we don't recognize the honor that is safe, uh, it comes from God. You know, loving favor rather than silver and gold, as the scripture talks about. The man or the woman who appreciates the value of a good name, of favor with God and man, recognizes that it is worth more than silver and gold. I mean, silver and gold, wealth, riches, they kind of make things go around in this world and, and the world tells us that these things are super important. But riches, let's be honest, are enjoyed only until the day we die. <laughs> you know, I hate to tell you this, but all the things you have amassed, all the wealth, all the riches, the silver and the gold, the 
the, all the material things that you have amassed up to the day you die. They're incredibly uh, lovely and wonderful and helpful and fun only until the day you die. Because when you die, you don't get to take anything with you. Are you hearing me today, right? But the Bible says, but good name outlives the man and it's a huge blessing. So, you know, Jesus talks about this in Luke 20, 10, 20. He, he takes this teaching a step further to show that it's still a higher level. It's not about the power we have in our control, but it's the love in which we're held. That's our proper joy. So what do we do with this? What do we do with the scripture today? Well, reputation is important. It's essential. It's having a good name is, is what God is asking us it's not the stuff that we have. It's not the, the things that, that make our life a little more pampered, a little more enjoyable and some, you know, seems to bring us some joy, but there is a limit to that. And so let me ask you, you know, what is your reputation? As I ask myself this question, what is my reputation? What does my name stand for? Can people say, yes, you are this. You're this kind of a person, this kind of person or, and, and those are wonderful things, or are they labeling you in, in ways that are not pleasing to what God wants for you? So what would people say about you? What do people say about me? This is important for me, I think, to really understand and apply to my life. And what do you want people to say about you? I think if we look at the scripture in light of this application today, we can pray into that. We can kind of seek the Lord and, and help get the help we need to really see where we're at today. So I want to uh, pray for you today, pray together. And I want us, uh, as our theme for each day, we have a different theme of prayer. The prayer theme today is to pray for our church. So let's, let's pray into that today, that God would give us, as a church, a great reputation. That as a, as a, as a church in the city, that people would see Journey Church as a significant light to dark places, as a place of refuge, as a place where they can receive great um, biblical teaching and training and community and friendship and, and fun and a sense of worth, not in the things that we do, but in who we are, reflecting God's image in this community. So let's pray together today. God, we thank you for your word to us. We thank you that you have uh, laid it out for us. And God, you've allowed us to dig deep, to mine into the truth of your word. And I pray today for every person, uh, a part of this church and watching this today, that God, that we would recognize that you have a purpose and a plan for each one of us. And as we uh, are careful of our reputation, careful of what people would say of us, because we protected that to glorify and lift up your name, not ourself, not our own well-being, not... Uh, surrounding ourselves with great silver and gold, but God, to, to make you famous in through our lives, God, that is our highest goal. And so I just pray for everybody uh, today. I pray that, God, you would help us to be what you've called us to be. I pray for our church. I pray corporately right now as we agree in faith uh, together, Lord, that our church would be a place, would be, it's made up of people, the church is people, that would reflect your glory, that would uh, give you high esteem that our name, your name be glorified, Lord. And so today we just pray your blessing upon your people, your church, and may Journey Church be a place where people can come and feel encouraged, supported, and, and receive life in you. So God, we thank you for this today. We pray uh, your hand to be upon Journey Church. I pray for every person watching this today. May they be encouraged and lifted up and recognize that our reputation is important in Christ Jesus. Thank you for this word today. Bless your people, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I hope that makes sense to you. I hope that resonates with you. I hope the Spirit is, is you're wrestling through some things today. Let, let me just remind you that as you kind of go into these days of prayer, each and every day can be very unique and there can be some very challenging times but don't see that as, oh man, this is just hard. I'm really hungry and I need to eat something. See that as a battle that's raging for your spirit, for your soul. And the battle is the Lord's. He's already won the victory. 
It is a matter of you staying focused, staying in tune with Him, and allow Jesus to take you through this season uh, where you can hear His voice more clearly and fight some battles that you're, you're looking for God and looking to answers for. So be encouraged today. Looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow as we go into day nine. God bless you. Have a great day today, everybody.